Are you doing attacks or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll go ahead and we'll do that too at the same time. <laughs> yeah, people, I, people drive and text at the same time. I think I could read and text at the same time. <laughs> All right, we're back. Oh, this is going to cause an accident. <laughs> 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 the kid guy driving the trains on his cell phone. <laughs> I've been to the cap. I've been to the cap a long time, but I've always been surprised at just how big this, this street is. <laughs> really? This view is nothing special to those who've lived here all their damn lives. <laughs> but I suppose seeing all the orbital cars and trams zipping along must be kind of weird for people from you know places. So don't really do that. You were just the opposite in the Nordlands. Yeah. You gotta use a horse, though. Indeed. Even though I, in my home province, people are dependent, depending less on less on horse-drawn carriages. I've never seen so many orbital cars in one place before. Well, even here, mm. carriages were the standard up until around 20 years ago. Huh. But these days, they seem kind of quaint. You, you we'll never really see them anymore. It's like people just want to sell cars instead of actually help people get around. <laughs> That's your line. Oh, for some reason I, th I thought I said Laura. My bad. <laughs> the Republic's capital has a lot of cars too. You know, so it's like this. More vulnerable banks. Yeah. After that, Crossbell probably has the most. Oh, That's really? To take. You've done a lot of traveling for someone your age. Though, I guess when you're in a. Yep, Yaga work takes you places. Hmm. Lord just was pissed. She does not like Jaegers. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh. What's uh, Alto Street like? There. There. That's where you're staying. That's where we're staying. Where we're getting, right? Is that yeah, where your house subject? <laughs> <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> is that where your house is, Elliot? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Scary. Comp Street. <laughs> <laughs> we should be taking a right here. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Should have sat down. <laughs> Alto Street. Okay. Got the uh, all kinds of stuff. Looks like we can get some new equipment or something. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that. I don't really find myself near Alto Street that often. Looks like you live in a nice part of the city, though. What do you think? <laughs> you stay on the weekends with all the drunks. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, we should start looking for where our lodgings are. You know, so we know where to dip out at night. Oh, yeah. Uh, Elliot, you live around here, right? Why don't we drop by your house first? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Well, that does seem like a natural thing to do. I kind of want to see it. Yeah. It's really like where I got my violins to hit people with, so. Seems like <laughs> a good idea. I doubt my dad will, will be in. Not sure if my sis will be there either. Yeah, I think you mentioned having an older sister before. Oh, well, she hot? <laughs> Anyways, what's Maki saying? <laughs> All the more reason to pay a visit. <laughs> Man, right? <laughs> okay. You insist, thanks. Alright, where you live, boy? My house is a two-story place full of dopeness. <laughs> Don't know if anyone's home right now, but we can at least have a look. Alright. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, let's see. Okay, no, never mind. Nothing? Yeah, not yet. Let's go talk to this guy's parents or whatever. Uh, Elliot? Elliot, that's his name. I know his name. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't start a freaking no. timer. Gosh, you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been so long since I was last here. I feel a bit nervous. Ah, don't worry. You I got know. the cat on your shoulder, remember? Confidence cat. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> no need for such hard, for such hand wriggling. It is your home, after all. 
dude. Sorry. I know. But still. Okay. Come on in. Hey, just, we're just gonna walk right in. We're not even gonna knock yeah, or anything. He, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if anybody's whom. Yep. Wow. Feels like it's been ages since I was home. Mm. So, this is Elliot's house. Yeah. <laughs> Is, oh, is someone there? Oh, God. <laughs> I was uh, done with you in just a moment. Oh, it's... Is that his mom or his sister? I have no fucking idea. Oh, it's his sister, because she's hot. Hey, <laughs> sorry for the wit. What? <laughs> is she <laughs> really talking like that? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Elliot. Um, I see some more. Oh, it is his sister. Get a hot sister, dude. Elliot? Oh, I love you! <laughs> Elliot! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Who are? Oh my. It's you, it's really you! I didn't think I'd be able to see you again so soon! Oh, thank the goddess! Adios. Whatever! <laughs> see, it's priest. Not in front of the classmates. <laughs> Looks like they get along pretty well. <laughs> I'm almost jealous. <laughs> oh. Fiona Craig. <laughs> I just thought of something funny. If you were in this family, your name would be Craig Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Who would do that to somebody? <laughs> I don't know, because then they would make your nickname Craig Craig. <laughs> 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 I'm Elliot's older sister Fiona Craig I hear you've been saving my brother's skin at school I'm so glad to finally meet you all Actually, your brother's been kicking ass That's right, pretty much <laughs> He's got them fat beats, man He's been saving my ass Actually, Elliot's one doing most of the same Oh, he even agrees <laughs> Yeah, Elliot's been doing the same most of the time Indeed, his attentiveness has, provi has proven valuable on most occasions you're lying. Yeah. That has been my line. <laughs> Are you blushing? I'm a little bit. I keep missing my lines. <laughs> of course not. Why would I be? <laughs> you must be Reen, Laura, Machias, and Fee. Now I see that you meant when you wrote that I made some uh, just new friends. Uh, <laughs> I could talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not teaching any piano cl classes today. As it so happens, I have the day off. Whoa, my phone's going nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Why? I think because you uh, I got a text. Anyways. Oh, that was me. <laughs> what you oh, oh you... excuse me. <laughs> oh, edit stuff. And none of the childish children have come by either. So you picked a good time to visit. Oh, you teach piano at home? Can you teach me? <laughs> Elliot, I could have piano lessons, right? No. Oh, well, he's in the wind orchestra. Did he tell you that? <laughs> Is everyone in your family a musician? Well, oh, wait, oops, sorry, that's you. Almost. <laughs> but Dad's not really much of a musician. He just reads Boo Baby. He could carry a tune in, in the wind wheelbarrow. I love a chance to go to the co to a concert as a family once in a while, but he's always so busy with work he rarely has a chance to come home and see us. What does your dad do anyway? What? Ah, uh, well. Oh, had he not told them? <clears throat> He's a crack dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Now that you mention it, I don't recall you ever saying. Is it something secret you can't talk about? Oh, it's nothing like that. Hmm? He's just, uh, in the Imperial Army. Holy crap. His dad's in the Imperial Army? Imperial Army, really? <laughs> yeah, probably uh, no way you'd guess by looking at me, right? 
I didn't exactly inherit his physique. He looks like All Might. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, like, Louis Armstrong or something. It'd be funny if he just busts in. He's like, hello, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. You're scared as hell. Yeah, I'm trying to be relevant. Oh, <laughs> uh, relevant with the times. I get it, yeah. Cool kid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but man, the last name Craig and in the army, that really does, that sounds really familiar. <gasps> Wait. What? Uh, your father wouldn't happen to be Olaf Craig, would he? The Olaf Craig? Dude, it the is a lieutenant general of Erebonia's armed forces. Dude, he is like a giant o Olaf. He is a big freaking dude. He probably looks like a Viking. With a name like Olaf. Yeah, he's probably a, a giant red-haired Viking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dead old rat. <laughs> I think you just need to eat more, Elliot. <laughs> Many consider him the most vulnerable general in the Imperial Army. And he knows more where they around the Empire simply as Craig the Red. Red he Craig. Makes, <laughs> he makes everything red. The Craig Craig. <laughs> <laughs> he leads the 4th Armored Division, which boasts the greatest firepower in the entire armed forces. 4th Armored Division? Yeah, not the 3rd. Which one was the 3rd? Was that the Pirate? That was the Nord. Yeah, okay, yeah. that was the pirate guy. Okay, what about um Cloud from the Academy? Wasn't he part of the Fourth Armored Division? I think so. Huh. Or was he first? I can't remember. Damn it. I have to look back at that episode. I read about him in the research I did before entering the Academy. But I never put two and two together when I met Elliot. He looks like such a little pansy. <laughs> oh. Got to think of it, doesn't... The, doesn't Instructor Nineheart come from the 4th Armored Division too? Oh, he does come from the 4th. Oh, okay, we got it. <sighs> yep. It's kind of threw me it threw me when I saw Elliot just casually chatting with him a while ago. But now I can see how you'd want you'd wind up talking with him outside of class. Oh shit, that's right. I mean, oh, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I met him through my dad before coming to the academy. It's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised you didn't peg me as Olaf Craig's son. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't find out. Yeah, we got. It doesn't take the physique to see there's something going on there. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make things all awkward and stuff. Just, yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, that's right. Right, Meow. Do you know of any hotels around here, Fiona? We've got an address for where we're staying, and it's apparently around here. But I've got no clue, actually. What? You're not staying here? Uh, are we? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> We are in town for a field study. Besides, there aren't enough beds for all of us here. But, but it's been so long since I saw you. Sniffle, I guess uh, you finally reached the age when you're not cool to give your big sis hugs anymore. I feel a little sad, but I guess we'll all grow up. I'll still be watching over you, though. Yes, please. His sister seems to have even more attached to him than he is to your sister. Than your sister's to you. Still, it's kind of strange. <laughs> there aren't many any hotels in this area, at least. Not that I know of. Hmm. Huh? None at all. Perhaps my father gave us the wrong address, that big meanie Mr. Busy Man. I would highly doubt that, dude. Oh. But your father doesn't seem like the type who makes such a careless mistake. I'm not 100% sure, but... Can you show me the address I gave you? Oh, sure thing. I have it written right here. We can hand off the memo to the address of the lodging to Fiona. Oh, I think I know where this is. Isn't this where the old Bracer Guild used to be? What? What? The Guild Branch? Are you sure? Yeah. An old friend of mine used to work there. Though we've been out of touch for a while now. 
Really? I had no idea. Blazers, huh? Guess it's a step up from Jaegers. <laughs> I'm baffled as to why my father would choose us to put an old guild house. Well, we should at least go have a look ourselves. Do you know the way, Elliot? Nope. <laughs> I think so. I mean, yeah. Should be just down the road. Wow. Aww. I was hoping you stay a little bit longer. I made tea and biscuits. But if you have things to do, I'll just sit here all alone. <clears throat> I'd make the day if you dropped by for meals. While you're here, though, I'd be more than happy to cook for you all. Well, we're only going to use my keys if we really need Earth stuff, which we probably want, so you can stay here. <laughs> I don't think Elliot would like that. <laughs> no. That sounds great. What do you guys think? Well... Uh, the tea's good. <laughs> I'm not going to turn down on free food. I oh, man. <laughs> hey, that's the spirit! <laughs> I'll be sure to treat you in every best I can whip up this evening. I'll make sure that you get plenty done. And make sure you get plenty done today and work up a real appetite. <laughs> oh, it seems that we have more than just a festival to look forward to now. You said it. All right, let's head over to the guild. Okay. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Let's go, guys. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. It's all fancy now. Let's see. We need to head to the guild house. Oh, uh, crap. Okay. Oh, it's just right down the street. That's what he said. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Alright, get ready to kick rats. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the, the place written on the memo. I didn't think we'd end up staying in old guild branch. I, I can't think of anything we're gonna end up doing. I'm guessing Group B has fixed up in the other one then? <laughs> They're like in a fancy hotel. This is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so, there's. Hey, it's my light, Dick. <laughs> the city. Yeah. It was your line. <laughs> but I've been talking so much now, I just like, lose track and start reading everything. I'm three out of two. <laughs> <laughs> and back when the guild still had uh, a presence in Heimdalla, there were two branches. The guild pulled out the city over a year ago, though. Not many pay much attention to these buildings now. No. Is that so? The guild still still has an active branch over in my hometown, Legrand. Really? Sounds cool. I mean, there's more the exception than the rule these days. The building looks surprisingly new, considering that it's been gone for over a year. Oh, well, that's because... There's somebody just right there. Yeah, someone walked by, yeah. He's dropping motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> That's because there was a big fire that swept through about two years ago. Whoa. They rebuilt the building after all that, but they wound up getting sh uh, shuttered when the guild left the town anyway. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> no one knows for sure whether the fire was the accident or not. Some of you needs made out with a bunch of insurance money, though. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was terrorists or some crap. Oh, jeez. That's an unsettling thought. Just a rumor, though. There's no proof of anything. Must have been that operation that I did. What? What? Nothing. We not like bandits, though, because we're bandits. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's head in, shall we? Your father gave us the key, so we should be able to get ourselves in. Unless he messed that up, too. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't mess up the... Marcus. <laughs> well, Just shall we open it? Use the key. Use the almighty key. Bam! Steiner. Oh, <laughs> Red yeah. Steiners. Yeah, they got the little gauntlet fist thing. It's a bar or something? Uh, that'd be perfect for uh, the instructor. You know, it's, it looks just like the same design as that bar we're in in uh, Celtic. Huh. Interesting. I was actually expecting it to be a little less tidy inside. There's someone here. <laughs> There's some kind of notice posted up on the wall. 
And the bulletin boards? Seems to be no so who's currently in charge of this building? Apparently it's currently owned by the local government. Well, that explains why the governor had the authority to let us stay here while we're in town. Uh, which part are we staying in then? Uh, there's nothing but a reception counter down here, so I suppose we'll be staying upstairs. Oh, let's go drop our stuff off, off our stuff and see what we got in store for us today. Got the boys' room. Got the girls' room. Got a tape. Right. <laughs> He's prepared a brand new bed for us and everything. Isn't that going a little far? This isn't a hotel. Could be turned yeah, into one, though. Yeah, but it could be used in future field studies for younger generations. That too, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. He just seems like a nice guy. For we ignoring should... his children, he does quite a good job. <laughs> <laughs> we should appreciate his consideration. Alright, now that we got that crap all sorted out, let's uh, see what we got to do. Yeah. Okay. God damn, we got a lot. Amber Emmer. Old old man Hammond. Old man Hammond here. <laughs> one of my ca one of my cafe's popular records has been shattered. If possible, I'd like to get another record of the same song, but I need help. Visit me at Concert Cafe, L O T on Alto Street. For further information, Hammond. Old man Hammond. <laughs> Chronicles of the Chronicle. What? Real Chronicle. A journalist at the Imperial Chronicle needs assistance with a tourism piece he's preparing. For more information, speak to me at our reception in the office on Vancouver Street. I will connect you, you two. Okay. That's off to you! <laughs> Jasmine. A customer who visited my gelato stall yesterday actually dropped off dropped their hat. I'd like to get it back to them, but I'm not sure how. If you have any good ideas, please visit my stall in Draco's Plaza. That sounds like one of the dumbest things to ever have to do. <laughs> Underground Passage Monster. Oh, damn. There we go. My name is Noble. Noble. No oh, no, Noble. Uh, Noble. I run the Dear Heimel Hotel, which unfortunately is currently has a monster looking beneath it. I'm throwing too much food out. <laughs> we just can we just whack it and keep doing what we do wastefully? If you can get rid of it, please see me at my hotel in the Ghana district. Nubel. Nubel. I think that was weird. Hmm. These ta the tasks Mike Marquez's father selected certainly show a variety variety one would expect from a city this size. So. We'll need to find some Dorcas hat. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Our group's covering the area of uh, the east side of the street, yo. So it might be a good idea to go around and scope out all the places before noon. Agreed, I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to get an idea of where everything is. I mean, I've been here before, but it was underground. Uh, we could use the Orbital Tribes to visit all the relevant locations on this side of the city while we're going through our tasks. You two all right with being able to travel, being our travel guides? Yeah, of course, Mr. Man. I know all the places. Put them the knowledge to use. <laughs> Maybe hard to show you around the city this size, but uh, I'll give you a grand tour as I can. Sis said she'll fix dinner to, for us later, so we'll just head back there when the dark's getting light. Yeah, once uh, we're done with everything, let's go to Elliot's house. Party. Okay, Woo. let's get moving. We got a lot of ground to cover. Understood. <clears throat> Let's all do, do what we can to ensure we are not shown up by Crew B. Damn right, honey. <laughs> Hi, Della. You can travel between the areas of the city relevant to the group study. To travel, either walk to the end of an area map, or press square, or select one of the end of selected destination. Okay, so like same with the other things. Each area also has a tram stop. You can visit the tram, blah, blah, blah. At a certain point in the chapter, you'll need to ride the tram to reach your destination. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, we need the end episode here, though. We've been talking for freaking ever. But next time, we'll explore some more crap. Alrighty, bye.